gamers welcome to Serbian Empire part one finally a new let's play has begun after I finished again Egyptian syndicate and I guess you could say semi successful second Mongol Empire I, I sort of completed it but at the same time I kind of discontinued it but again I did complete that let's play so again I'm starting two new let's plays this week that being as you guys are watching right now Serbia and new Ottoman Empire as Turkey, which will be uploaded on Thursday. Tuesday, I got a versus for Supreme Ruler. Wednesday, I'm, I'm playing Super Power 2 again. Probably doing Russia versus China, I think. And then Friday, uh, it'll be Drop Zone. And then I'll be streaming normally again on Tuesday and Friday for some Overwatch, Call of Duty 2, and some Supreme Ruler. So that is my schedule, guys, if you wanted to know. Uh, first things first, as you can see, uh, hang on. Fraps is uh, acting up right now for some apparent reason. I don't know what's wrong with my PC. It's been acting weird lately, and it's giving me 10 5 FPS right now. So this is no way to uh, <laughs> start a first part for a new Let's Play. So I'll pause Fraps and I'll continue right after. All right, hopefully it's fixed. Yeah, it's okay now. 40 FPS, 60 FPS. All right. Anyways, as I was saying. Uh, new let's play again with Serbia uh, as you can see this is the shattered world let's play or campaign and already the whole European continent is in total anarchy and at war so uh, I decided to stay neutral for now until you know I start this let's play actually so you guys can watch so I'm glad that I'm staying neutral right now I decided to uh, build factories agriculture facilities uh, and of course units uh, I decided to buy Russian designs. I didn't. I didn't buy any American or Western European uh, unit designs. Instead, I stick with the uh, T80s, T90s, the BMPs, those kind of uh, Russian designs. Just because, again, I'm playing with Serbia and this is Eastern Europe, and this let's play is gonna be focused mostly around Eastern Europe. The goal of this let's play is to take out as many Eastern European nations as I can, or from the southeastern European. Uh, area all the way from Greece and Bulgaria to probably Milan I guess maybe even Marseille hmm of course I'll be taking out the former Balkan nations including Greece Albania and Bulgaria but I really want to try to take out the Italian states as well Milan Rome Naples and Sicily Sardinia so that might be the goal of this let's play. I've got alliances with uh, Marseille, Southern Germany, uh, Hungary, Romania, and Turkey just so they don't declare war on my empire and just, you know, mess things up. I, do, I really don't want to deal with other shenanigans right now. Again, that is the goal of the Serbian Empire. I want to finish these let's plays as fast as possible and start new ones. Again, a lot of people are requesting others like a uh, new Persian Empire that I got to do with Iran. Uh, there's Benelux Union. Grand Colombia, a bunch of others, guys. I've also, got, I've also got alliances with my own state as well, Virginia, and of course, the norm, the UN. And if you guys are hearing explosions or gunfire, I don't know if you guys can hear it through the uh, microphone, but uh, Quantico, the Marine Corps base that I live nearby, is uh, <clears throat> shooting their ornaments. Is it ord ordinances? Uh, yet again, artillery, uh, 50 cal gunfire. So if you guys are hearing that, then that's them they were doing that yesterday as well from like 7 to 10 p.m. at night so that was a huge ruckus and I guess a lot of people don't like it here but at the same time you know that's what you call the sounds of freedom and I do kind of enjoy it I do kind of enjoy uh, hearing it here and there all right so <clears throat> Serbian Empire Ooh, and another thing I keep forgetting to point out the most important things uh, if you want to buy cheap games on G2A guys uh, I have a link my own referral link actually uh, I just applied for the uh, G2 a gold mine and I got my own link so if you guys use my own link it actually benef benefits me if you use my link and you actually b purchase games on G2A by the way games on G2A if you guys don't know are really really cheap and much better or the price is much better than on Steam or any other uh, market on PC right now but Again, I'm just telling you guys that uh, the G2A prices are by far one of the best. And 
For example, Supreme Ruler, which is usually 10 bucks on Steam, Supreme Ruler on G2A is only about a dollar to two dollars. Supreme Ruler 1936 is, I think, 20 or even 30 dollars right now on Steam. How much is it on G2A? About three to five dollars on G2A. Same thing with Supreme Ruler Cold War. Ultimate, on the other hand, is around 25, 30 dollars, I think. I think the normal price is 40 right now. I'm not sure. But then again, you have other uh, AAA games, huge games like GTA 5, uh, Overwatch, Fallout 4, even Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, these games, normal prices go for like, let's say, 50 to 60 dollars right now, maybe even 30, uh, 40 dollars the most. But on G2A, they're as low as 40 to 30 to even 20 dollars. Metal Gear Solid 5 is only about 12 to 13 dollars in G2A. GTA 5 is like $30 and the normal price is 60 that's freaking crazy guys so if you guys want to buy some cheap games and if you do want to play RTS games you know you can't wait anymore you want you want to buy Supreme Ruler or Hearts of Iron Victoria anything uh, go to G2A and use my link there and buy you got buy some games that is amazing and I'm glad that I just applied for the G2A gold mine so again link or my own link I should say below so you guys can start shopping for some cheap games and probably even buy Supreme Ruler heck maybe Supreme of the Great War will probably be cheaper on G2A when it releases so that is my announcement for my uh, link of G2A Goldmine guys and I appreciate the help for the people that actually do uh, click the link and purchase some games alright without further ado uh, my first goal is to uh, take out the uh, nation of Kosovo or as a lot of Serbians say uh, Kosovo is Serbia but you know I digress I'm not gonna get into that I don't care let's take out the nation of Kosovo for now and as you can see you got Macedonia here or Macedonian units in Kosovo they have an alliance or a treaty there same thing with Greece Greece has a bunch of treaties with other nations like Bulgaria Albania Alright, so, and uh, Romania also declared war on the Serb Republic, so I'm going to have to uh, take the Serb Republic as well, or a part of it, but Romania took most of it in eastern, what is this, or the eastern part of Serb Republic. Alright, here we go. I think this is enough units to take Kosovo. <clears throat> I was also thinking about uh, doing another Let's Play. But using the most advanced tech that Supreme Ruler has, uh, I should probably use a tech that is around 200. Because I've never done that. I mean, in World Annexation, I am using tech that is, that is very advanced. Uh, tech levels like 170 or 180 in World Annexation. And I'm using some uh, very highly advanced units. But again... I'm not using the full arsenal of the advanced units, so I'm thinking about doing a full let's play of using, you know, the most advanced units there is in Supreme Ruler. Uh, there's mechs. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, Slav fours, level six. I heard somebody throw warning. Greece. Oh, of course, it was Greece. It had to be Greece. All right, so they're gonna try to enter my borders because they have an alliance with Bulgaria here. I think. Of course they do. Oh yeah, here they come. But as I was saying, I want to try to do that actually. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, you assholes. <laughs> that is not fair. Alright, there we go. We got Kosovo now. Macedonia might join in this war soon, probably. Oh, there we go. We got Kosovo. Alright. We got some of the Greek units here trapped. We got them. Some of them trying to come through Albania as well. Not this time. Get in there. There's a little circle right there we can get in there. There we go. Nice. Probably more of them are going to try to come. See, every time I'm trying to say something important, I get distracted by whoever's invading my nation. But so far, it's a sloppy start, actually. If you, if you, I, if I say so. 
I might have to declare war on Bulgaria as well. So that way I can just start invading Greece. What the hell's going on? Oh. Botswana is eliminated. Take him out there. Oh, great. Now what? Finland has declared war. Alright, so it looks like the European nations are finally declaring war on the Serbian Empire. That's not what I wanted. But I am also glad that I have alliances around my neighbors, actually, Romania, Hungary, and uh, Turkey. But it looks like Turkey has finally stopped engaging against Bulgaria. Oh, never mind. You got them startled again. Good job, guys. Love you. Alright, so... <clears throat> Jeez. What was I saying earlier now? Now that I got distracted because of uh, Greeks here. Um, dang it. That always happens. That always happens. Oh, that's right. Advanced units. Um, once I, I get to the, uh, what is it? The highest level there is for my uh, units. Probably 200, right? I could probably go to tech research around 200 with, that, with any nation that I play as. Once I reach 200, got the most advanced units. I build the most advanced units, and then start invasion, uh, invading the whole world, not the whole world, but parts of the world for that let's play, you know, that'll be pretty cool if you ask me, you know, never invaded countries with, you know, so much advanced tech, call it infinite warfare, you know, <laughs> that's what it's going to become, even though I can't go into space yet, but it might become like that, so I'm looking forward to doing a let's play sometime in the future with whatever nation I choose all right so let's see who else should I declare war I should declare war on Montenegro as well I should be building more units actually while I'm taking these nations out should I take out yeah I should take out Bulgaria first Far more important to take them out than uh, Macedonia. All right, so let's see. That's not what I want. I want to take the guys out here first. Take artillery, then we'll take the fabrications. Again, I can forget about Pernik. Oh crap! They're bringing uh, more artillery units. Soto is eliminated. Bring these guys here. Take that unit out. Need reinforcements. Take more artillery units out because that's the most important. And Moscow has declared war. bother me and hurt me the most. I'm gonna send these units to Beograd. Repair all these guys here. Bring it north. Sophia. Ow. Again, these are T-80s, T-55s. Not the most advanced units, but these are the most advanced units that Russia has, or I should say Moscow, that I bought from. So I'm only sticking to these designs for now. I might have to build more of these units soon. Because this is not going to work out. Yeah, oh crap. Um, let's see, BOV needs repairs. BBP. BBP again. T-80s. More T-80s. Yeah, they got to repair these units one by one, guys. I can't lose these units. Alright, that'll do. And then these units can, uh... Actually, I can get more reinforcements. I really don't need that many units for Montenegro. What am I doing it up? Just send them towards Bulgaria. That's more important over there. Oh, boy. Guys, we should only focus on one city. Or can I bring some of these tanks over here to take these artillery units out? Because they are annoying me. There we go. So 
gonna take a while. We got a bunch of MTs, BTRs, and still we got three garrisons in there. While they're doing that, declare war on Montenegro. Yeah, they don't got nothing here. They got nothing on me. And somebody's attacking, and that is the North Caucasus. Check the stats real quick. 76 unit kills, 26 unit losses. All right. Looks like Bulgaria is probably broke. Speaking of which, since Romania and Turkey are at war with Bulgaria, they'll also TV, they'll also be taking parts of Bulgaria as well. And it looks like I won't be reaching the Black Sea anytime soon, just because both Romania and Turkey are gonna separate me from the sea. So that usually sucks. I look, I like to connect uh, Serbia. What was that noise? We are under attack by. Bo Wait, what? I don't know, I heard something, whatever. But it sucks that uh, I won't be connecting Serbia with the Black Sea. I usually like to connect countries with, you know, any type of water, body of water. Doesn't matter if it's a sea, lake, or even the ocean, but I like to do that. So again, that's why I'm trying to, you know, take out some of the Italian states and try to reach the Mediterranean. I could do that with Greece, actually, once I take them out soon. Cool. Looks like Bulgaria is not fighting back. Explosion! We got it! Let's back out. We don't gotta deal with them. Oh, they're gonna try to take uh, the capital again. Alright then. You know what? I'm staying here then. I ain't moving. There we go. Fatality indeed. So, there goes Bulgaria, but now I've got to head straight to war again with uh, Greece. But before I do that, let's go back to uh, Montenegro here. They got some units here, let's destroy them first. I won't be needing them anyway. We got plenty from Bulgaria. Albania, don't do anything stupid yet. Same goes for Macedonia and Croatia. Yeah, got garrisons over here. Just so they don't territories yet kind of busy here wow my GDP has dropped dramatically I think it was around 24 26 thousand look at that 18 thousand oh man after I took both Bulgaria and Macedonia not Macedonia but uh Kosovo and soon Montenegro GDP is gonna drop dramatically <laughs> we got it. I love that. Albania, you better get out because uh, Montenegro's gone. Fatality. Yep, there you go. They're gone. Alright, so we've already taken out three nations. And uh, again, I'll be taking out Croatia soon. And it looks like this little part of Croatia, Dubrovnik, will be mine. <laughs> I get a little part of Croatia there. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is I think I want to repair some of these units here real quick. Again, as you can see, Turkey took most of uh, Eastern Bulgaria and I couldn't connect Serbia with the Black Sea. Ukraine has declared a war. Hopefully Romania is not at, doesn't have an alliance with Ukraine. Thank goodness, because if they did, then I'll have to deal with them. And some border issues here and there. It kind of sucks that my uh, allies, Hungary and Romania, are at war for no apparent reason. Looks like Turkey's backing out. I do want Turkey to uh, declare war on Greece as well, though. I'm not going to lie about that. But for now, I'm going to repair all these units again. Get ready for the war against Greece, actually. Hopefully, again, the former Yugoslav of for, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. This is why I don't say the full name. I don't give a damn. Macedonia, I want to call them Macedonia. Won't declare war on me yet. Same thing with Albania. I want to deal with Greece first. They're the major threat still in southern Europe and then I'll deal with uh, Macedonia and Albania so hope you guys enjoyed the first part of Serbian Empire I could have called it you know unified Serbia but I opted for a uh, Serbian Empire first now who is this Belarus uh, the huge who cares but again uh, what is a new Ottoman Empire again another new let's play that I'm, st I'm soon gonna start with as Turkey I'm gonna be doing that on Thursday I'll be streaming tomorrow on Twitch for some Overwatch or Call of Duty 2, maybe even some Supreme Ruler. 
but who knows I like to uh, change and play different games on Twitch and again just a reminder my G2A link below as well if you guys are interested in purchasing cheap games like Supreme Ruler again Supreme Ruler is only like a dollar or two uh, same thing with the other Supreme Ruler games a few of the Supreme Ruler games like 1936 Cold War and there's also Hearts of Iron 4 which is normally 40 bucks but in G2A is about 25 to 26 dollars which is an amazing price and I'll soon be getting Hearts of Iron 4 there so there you guys have it again subscribe like and I'll see you guys next time